things I have to do is to get agile people or object-oriented people to not make fun of people who aren't doing things the way they want to do. In the uh, Salt Lake City, we would have a monthly round table. <coughs> and the thing ran, it's, it's been running since like 98 or 99, 99. So for a long time. And, and what hurts me is even after 10 years of people going there, when somebody says something unexpected, they'll poke fun at the person who asks a question, asks a question. You're not allowed to have that question. <laughs> I go, people, people. And when I get them to settle down, they often find that the person who asked the question really knows a lot is in this very peculiar situation in which the question's a reasonable question. And they actually learn a lot from the fact that there was this question asked in this particular circumstances. So when he said we to a team of people and you made Sorry. No, I'm in the same boat as him all yeah. the time. Right. So I'm going in maybe a, maybe a team of people is a great thing. Maybe there are circumstances that make it really super. Uh, and you don't know if it's good or bad until afterwards. So I was on a project 94, 95 time frame, and we could not find those object-oriented small talk, you know, fixed price, all these kind of things happening. We could not find an architect with a you know, big enough brain to play the role of architect. And so we had three people playing you know, jointly the role of architect. And everybody would say, oh my gosh, recipe for disaster. You know, fail, fail, fail. Well, I'm sorry, it was a successful project. And it worked out really well. Because the three of us got along, in fact, and we had very interesting discussions about design and architecture and how do we talk about what we're doing. You know, it worked out really, really great. Because the three brains combined was turned better than if we had a chief architect on uh, that. So, so just be like one of the biggest things if I could if I could give you aside from everything else is just be open to weird stuff that turns out to be okay, right? That's how we do that. Yeah. Just to follow on that question, what if it does happen that you uh, are you you asked to work in a team where the decisions are made by committee, but non-technical people, not stakeholders. So the stakeholders form a committee, and they then like to follow it, but they're completely non-committal to the process. Sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> what do I know? There's so much, so much context in, in, you know, in every city. If, when you ask me a question, there's all these environmental contexts that I don't have. There's all the personalities involved that I don't have. And there's a million things that could make it either wonderful or terrible. And, and we can't tell from the outside. What if 